anything that gets connected inherits the same threats as our computers and our smartphones. So we need to have the same mentality in place for IoT security. Threats are huge, can be huge, uh, with terrible impact. Can be privacy breach, can be uh, fraud, can be terrorist attacks. You're going to have thousands, millions uh, of uh, endpoints out there. Uh, being able to detect malware or even exfiltration uh, of data from those devices is going to be a, a challenge. Security has been identified as one of the top three concerns for adopters. There's been a lot in the media about risks uh, to users and enterprise and we need to address that head on. So we're taking that first step. We've created a common guideline, right? Here are the steps you need to do. It's not just a, a to-do list, but it's actually a, a set of tools and tests and benchmarks that you can utilize. We believe that uh, for IoT, you need at least the same level of security that we have today on the cellular network. We need to do the same for Internet of Things. The IoT security guidelines uh, has helped all the industry players to sit together in the same room, including competitors, and they've been working hand in hand in order to make a, a comprehensive uh, uh, set of, not rules, but set of uh, recommendations. Security is a very important part of our business, and we want to participate uh, in drafting these documents that are going to help the industry because uh, at the end of the day, we help each other doing this. Telenor, uh, as a whole, uh, support the IoT security guidelines because uh, we believe in embedding security in from the start, so security and privacy by design, and the IoT sec security guidelines support that very well. Having those guidelines in place will help give everybody a context. They help uh, create economies of scale. They help create standards that the industry can uh, can work together for. Service providers uh, are going to be of many different verticals and many different areas. The security guidelines are a way to educate them, to provide them with the tools that they need to give the trust to their customers. The IoT security guidelines are designed to give an uplift for those companies to provide a minimum bar of security to help protect themselves and ultimately protect consumers. They introduce important concepts uh, like trusted computing base, like root of trust, which are really important to be able to uh, guarantee uh, the good security end to end. We create too many barriers to the deployment. We talk about these wonderful use cases, but they're really painful to get to market. And security is one of those elements. So if we can make it simpler, we'll get the business, we'll get the solutions, we'll create a better tomorrow.